Hey everyone, Kyle Lewis here from the Worship Keyboard Tutorial YouTube channel where we give you tips and tricks to help you with your worship keyboard ministry. In this video, we're going to look at modulating down. I know a lot of times we modulate up, but there are some times when we actually need to modulate down. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques because it sounds very musical, almost doesn't sound like you're modulating at all. But before we get to the video, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you're aware of future videos. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and send it on to people that you think might be able to use this. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so let me demonstrate this process first and then I'll break down some of the concepts. So I'm gonna go from the key of D down to the key of C. So I'm modulating down a step. And then down here, okay? So let me run through the modulation, then we'll break it down. So I'm in the key of D. And now I'm in the key of C, all right? So let's just break this down. I'm starting in the, go back to D, starting on a D chord. Now I'm doing kind of a tonal shift here instead of staying within the realm of D major or even thinking of that, I'm going to uh, move up to an F chord, but it's really a C over F. I, I just kind of came across this voicing and it worked really, really well. So my D, doing a shift to the F chord, so it's a C chord over F. Now F is a part of the C major family, so it's really the four chord of there. So I'm going from a D chord to the four of C. Now what I'm going to do is move down to this chord. So if you're into music theory, this is the two chord of C. So F really is like a part of that D minor chord. You don't have to understand all the theory of this. Then I'm going to a G chord, which helps lead me to my C chord. Let me run through that again. D chord. C over F. D minor chord. Now I could play a regular G here or a G with B in the bass, which kind of has a nice step up there. Now there is a PDF download for this that you can download and I've got these written out in every key so you don't have to try to figure out all of the modulations yourself. Now the one thing that you will need to uh, take into consideration is maybe sometimes you're in a 3-4. Maybe you're in a 6-8. Well, that's all for this video. I hope this is helpful for you. So if you've got some uh, songs that you need to transpose or going from one song to another that needs a transposing, use this technique, give it a try out. Hey, before you sign off, make sure to uh, check out some of these other videos and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.